Well, looks like we are on another gimbal story, this time from Xeon. Today we are taking a look on the new iteration of the Smooth Q series from Xeon, the Smooth Q3. And as you know, I am the gimbal master. In the past 3 or 4 years I have tested approximately 60 gimbals, from smartphones all the way up to big board cameras. And we have got to a point where gimbal releases get under the radar and are not exciting anymore. Does the Smooth Q3 make the difference and get noted again on the smartphone gimbal market? Well, let's have an in-depth review. Firstly, let's have a look into the design. The Smooth Q3 adopts a sliding design that I find one of the easiest gimbal to start operating in a small pocketable factor. This move will be your main slide to start with. The knob is here to secure the arm. Mounting any smartphone should be simple and I was able to mount it and use it with my Samsung A52 5G without any problems. The included mini tripod is actually not so mini and it's actually kind of the biggest in this segment of gimbals. And it holds the smartphone really sturdy without any problems, you can mount whatever you want on it. Even the bigger smartphones should not be able to tip over or even some small wind. Let's get a look on the main design and buttons. Joystick button on the front, record photo button and the mode selector for the pen follow, lock, follow mode and POV mode. On the left side there are the zoom rocker buttons. On the back side you'll find the power button and I find it kind of weird to have it on the back but it does the job and it powers the gimbal on. Under the power button you have the trigger button and pressing it three times it will shoot vertically and pressing it another three times it will go back to horizontal. So for any TikToker, Instagram or whatever new app gets out, you are ready to shoot in any position. One of the main features about this gimbal is the integrated fill light. Well, yes, it has an integrated fill light that you can control basically with the touch button up. And you have three modes to select an actual three light values to go on. And yes, the light is tiltable also 360 degrees, so you can film someone from the front or switch it to your selfie view and get a great lit face for your vlogs. So if you need that constant soft light in darker places, this basically replaces the need of any light for evenly exposing your face. With any smartphone gimbals these days, you need an dedicated app to operate it. In this case, this is the ZY Kemi, a new app developed also for the Smooth Q3. Don't get me wrong, you can use the original smartphone app from your smartphone and it will work just kind of in an offline mode, but if you want to get all the advantage and actual tracking and other feature, it's recommended to use the ZY Kemi app connected to the Smooth Q with your smartphone via Bluetooth. You get a pretty simple and intuitive app. One of the first features that I like is to test the tracking function, either my face or an object or person. And I can confirm that the tracking works pretty well and it locks pretty well on the face or object. Somewhere close to the DJI Osmo Mobile 4 version, but not better. The max resolution that I was able to film is 4K 30p. Sadly, there is no 4K 25p or 4K 50 or 60p because my smartphone is enabled to film in 4K 50 or 60p. So I would love that in a future update. The menu settings offer a basic scene mode, follow mode, zoom, speed and small settings. Gird lines and white balance included. There are also gesture controls to control your gimbal while recording or stop your recording. If you're lazy and want a fun video made and edited by the app, you can use the Smart Clip Maker and you will get an edited video with effects ready to share. Rather than the standard photo and video mode, there's also the panorama mode up to 240 degrees. Time lapse, hyperlapse option, and one of the great features, dolly zoom. When using the selfie cam, you are able to apply some glamour effects. And I have tried a lot of them making me really glamorous.
concluding for the price of $89, this smartphone gimbal is really competitive and it could be a great option for your smartphone vlogging or filming experience. Small things to update is actually the recording from 4K 30p to actual 4K 25, 50 or 60, so we have the PAL version and actually and small motion in 4K. And overall, great package in a small form factor. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer them all. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.